okay, let's do this shit. You're gonna go to mix.org, that's M I triple X dot org. You're gonna go hit download. You can hit download mix, Windows 10, whatever. You're gonna hit download. I already have it freaking downloaded it. Okay, once it's done, go ahead, load that bitch up. We're gonna take you through the whole fucking install. Next, accept, next. Fuck it. Next. Who cares where it is? Next. Install that hoe. Yes. Finish. All right. So here it is. Now you're going to take your little USB. You're going to plug it into your computer. And you're going to plug that little USB into the DJ controller. Which I have just done now. It should be flashing showing a bunch of colors and lights okay and then you're gonna wanna open up mix and it should show a little splash screen here and now it's gonna tell you to pick a spot choose a folder for your music library the default just music on your computer is fine we'll set that up later you're gonna hit always show and what that's going to do is if you hit hide it's going to hide these menus which you can always just press press the alt key to show and hide that okay okay now you're going to I gotta hit alt go to options up here preferences or control P first things first sound hardware okay this is where things might get a little tricky but don't worry, we'll figure it out. Um, your sound API is is probably going to be either Windows Direct Sound or maybe it'll be uh, the Focus Right off the bat. Um, I'm I don't have my Focus Right plugged in, so my shit's working just fine with the Windows Direct Sound. Although I think on my laptop I use MME for some reason. I don't know why, but regardless of which one. Uh, is gonna work if one doesn't work try the other whatever focus right you might have some issues you might have to just ditch the focus right altogether and I'll tell you why later but try one of these two I'm just gonna go with this it's very important now um, to go down here to your outputs so this is where since we're in sound hardware this is where the sound from your computer is gonna be routed and we can even go to the the manual here for this specific mixer board and it tells you right here audio setup here's the mapping you're gonna set master to one and two and headphones to three and four okay so we're gonna go back we're gonna go to main which is gonna be your master we're gonna scroll down to line which is gonna say DDJ SP3 which is our controller this one's automatically putting it to one and two we're going to go to headphones, line, three and four. Okay. Uh, I'm going to hit apply. Now we're going to move on to the controls to get the controller working. Um, we're going to hit controllers. Go to this little drop down. We're going to click this one, DDJ SB3. I don't know what the fuck this is, but we're going to go to this. And we're going to go to load mapping. Okay. You're just going to scroll all the way down so you see Pioneer, the brand, DDJ, SB3. Enabled, make sure it's enabled. Apply. Okay, now you're going to see it do a bunch of little flashing things again on the controller. That's how you know you did it right. Hit OK. Go back to your software. Now just go to that browse, little browse knob, and just kind of scroll around. Okay. And it should work, or you know, just move some stuff around. Press, press the key lock, maybe. And it light, and if it lights up, then you know you're good. Okay, so now for tracks. So you might not actually have anything right here, and the reason is, is because in your music, in your music folder, there's nothing there. 
Or you might have some random shit if you downloaded it. I don't know. But here's what I'd recommend, and I've already done it. I'll delete it so I can do it again. Here's what I recommend for this show. Uh, open yourself up a folder and call it Stoop Fest. And you're going to go ahead and take whatever tracks that I give you to download. Which I've got this one, for example. Okay. You're going to take those tracks. We're going to take like these ones. And we're going to move them to Stoop Fest. I'm going to paste this. We're going to move them there. And it's going to be organized. You can see Mix made its own little folder too. Once you do that, I believe you have to refresh. Yeah, I mean, go up here to the menu. Shit, I have to press all every time because I fricked up. And hit rescan library. Let's see. It should have all your tracks. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to playlists. You're going to hit create new playlist. Call it Stoop Fest. Okay. And then, so the tracks you just downloaded, you can go ahead and say select them all. You're going to take these tracks and you're going to drag them into the Stoop Fest playlist. So it's going to put all your tracks right here for Stoop Fest. This is the only ones you want to mess around with right now. And you can drag them around to order it however you'd like. So, you know, whatever we decide the set list is going to be. And then you have all your songs ready to mess around with. You can go ahead. Use the browse knob to browse through these things. Okay, we're going to listen to uh, Spread Eagle. We're going to load it up on the first deck. Okay, and while we're at it, let's get a second song on the second deck. Okay, you're going to want to also level out all your all your knobs and stuff like that make sure everything's in the middle make sure the tempo is right on both sides and i'm gonna hit key lock on and yeah just make sure all your shit's ready and now here's the most important part if you notice if i hit play you're not gonna hear anything okay might be confusing. Well, the reason is, is because of this sound card thing that we got going on, I believe. So, what I recommend is just take your headphones and you're going to plug them. You're going to plug them straight into the DJ board. Just straight through there and you can hear them on your headphones. And that's the best way you're going to have to practice for right now. So, um, good luck. And yada yada, yada yada yada, any questions, I sleep in the other room.